don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I have for you another e-file for review. And this one comes from a company called Credu. I'm not sure how to say it. I just, I don't think it's a name in the English language, but I'm doing my best. I'll put it up on the screen and that's the name right there. <laughs> and anyways, you can find this e-file on Amazon. It comes in pink and silver, although they show white here. It is $52.99. There is free shipping and free returns. The link to this e-file will be in the description box below in case you are interested in purchasing it. Now, at the moment, I don't have a coupon code, but they will be giving me one for 20% off and it will be up in the title. So be watching for that coupon code. As always, you wanna read through your instructions they also gave some diamond drill bits and some sanding bands. And here is the body of the e-file or control panel slash holder, whatever you want to call it here. And it is the pink color right here. And then it's like a pretty rose gold in the center. Right there is your on off button and the speed dial. Notice that there isn't any numbers there. Also in the back is the input. That's where you put the cord and plug it into the wall. And here's the motor. That's where the hand piece will go. And again, that's where you would set the hand piece. And here is the hand piece. Now check out this hand piece because this is one little hand piece here. I was really kind of surprised at how small it was. And I mean, I don't really have any hand pieces that are quite that small. It is pretty tiny, very lightweight, uh, easy on your hand, and it just, it fits really nice. If you are a person that has a small hand, this would probably be really nice for you. Of course, it's twist and lock, twist to the left to open, put your drill bit in, twist back to the right to close. And then here's the cord. Now this cord is about five feet long and that's always good to know. And you plug the cord right here where it says input and then you put it in the wall so you can have power. And then the hand piece goes right here, right where it says motor. And then you put your hand piece down in this handy dandy holder right here. Okay, so here is how it would sit on your desk. Okay, or slam it like that. Okay, now if you're putting it right here like this this is the way i would probably put it on my desk and then that way you would grab your hand piece and put it back in there but the dial would be on the right side of you and then the forward and reverse button would be on the front it just seems it just seems a little strange to me because i think that to me the speed dial and how to turn it on would be should be like right here and then the forward and reverse button possibly um, over here somewhere because you know there's the cord in the back that you would plug into the wall but yeah that's just me this seems a little backwards okay now it's time to see what this sounds like all right so we have it plugged in and we're going to turn it on and listen All right, let's, let's switch to reverse. 
right here. Here's the button. Let's turn this around so you can get an idea. Now there is no numbers, okay, on the dial. So um, you really kind of have to guesstimate how fast you're going. And obviously if you're all the way to the end, that's 35. Okay, I'm going to be shortening my nails and also removing gel polish. So I have a coarse carbide bit on and I wanna see how it does it, just cutting right through the nail, okay? And let's go ahead and start. Obviously we have to go fast at a high RPM to cut this. Let's just try, how about, We'll go right there. That's not quite to 35. Okay? And we'll see. And this also tests the torque. Hmm. Now this is these are my real nails with a hard gel overlay and then it has gel polish over top. Hmm. I mean, it didn't do too bad, but... The torque was uh, a little questionable. Now that's, see that's, you can see my nail, you can see how thick that is. Um, my, my natural nail's under right here and then that's the, the thickness is the gel overlay. Now I will change the bit and we'll take off some gel polish. I am using the Kira Sky 5-in-1 drill bit to take off my gel polish. Yeah, I can't I can't really tell how fast I'm going. And I just want to get around that cuticle area. Okay, let's turn it up a little. We want to take down the gel polish here. I think we need to go a little bit faster. Okay. I mean, a lot of times you can sense how fast you need to go or how slow you need to go. And of course, I'm not using my dust machine because I want you to hear how well this works. Maybe a little, a little more. doing a pretty good job, really. I'm 
I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Let's get this. I always like to go slower around the cuticle area just to be safe, you know? But see, I got to take down a lot of bulk. And look what I did. Don't want to do what I did. I hit the drill bit on here and took off some of the paint. I'm going to turn it up to all the way to 35 RPMs just to take down some of this bulk real quick, okay? Because it's thick, the nail, especially uh, around the tip area. And it helps if you have a good drill bit to use. One that will peel down that bulk. Now I am pushing because there's a there's a lot of gel on there. You hear that? Doing pretty good, really. I just have a real big mess. <laughs> I'm not pushing right now, though. Hmm. Gosh, I'm creating such a big mess over her. I think that did a good job, really. That's a pretty powerful e-file. All right, so what I want to do is just, I'm going to go ahead and shorten the rest of these nails. I'm really getting sick and tired of the length. It looks kind of creepy. <laughs> and then I'll show you bits and pieces of the work that I'm doing. And then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts and opinions. On this Time for my final thoughts and opinions. Now, first of all, I think that this e-file did a pretty good job. I shortened all my nails, took off the gel polish, and took all the bulk down, and it really held its own. It really did a good job. The only thing, I think it needs a little bit more power when I go to cut the nail shorter. Remember when I was cutting into the nail to shorten it? It just seems like it needs a little bit more torque, a little bit more power to get through there faster because I did have it up at 35 RPMs. 
Now, this little hand piece did not get hot at all. And I mean, I used it for all 10 nails and it was lightweight, comfortable, and I think it really did the job great. You know, I was kind of impressed with it because I really, you know, kind of had my doubts there, you know. A few of the things that I didn't like about this e-file is that there is no numbers on the dial. And I really had a hard time trying to gauge how fast I was going, how fast I needed to go. So for me, numbers are really important to have on there. And I didn't like the location of the on and off speed dial button on the side there. I think it needs to be on the front. And overall, I just really prefer a e-file that's cordless. Okay, I don't like a lot of cords hanging all over my desk. I need the space and, you know, I don't want the cords there, <laughs> okay? I only have so much outlet space and, you know, having a lot of cords is just not gonna cut it for me. But, you know, everybody's different, everybody likes different things and, you know, overall for the price, I mean, you're gonna get 20% off, which would bring the e-file down to $42 just about. So for the price point and how it works, you know what, I, I think it's great for home use. I mean, if this is something that you're you're liking and something that you know you would want, you like this style, then maybe it's for you. Maybe you'll wanna check it out. And that's it. Thank you so much for being here and watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.